see our very own General Moses Ali uh, here. Uh, he looks to be in good spirits and uh, as part of my communication general. Do you want to say anything to members? Yes, yes, I'm allowing you. This is part of my communication. I'm giving in my time. Do you want to say anything? Then I allow you to remove the mask, oh, okay. so that we can hear you properly. Well, I, I was going to ask you whether you speak with, with this own or... Uh, thank you. Now, I want to thank the speaker to make it possible for me to stand here today and to brief you my colleagues in our House of Parliament. I arrived in Uganda after flying about seven hours, I think, to we must first go to Kigali. Then that led on its way back to Europe. That leaves you here. So I arrived Friday night after at home I arrived back at a while. But uh, I just want to say by standing here, I would not say much about myself. Because those of you who are here will see. And you give me your percentage of my fitness. <laughs> Two percent, five percent, whatever you want to give. Again, why I went to for treatment, you are also all there. When this thing happened, I'm all telling you. However, what I will tell you, after that, that was the election of speaker, was it? After that election of speaker, and you know that thing that had moved me, our brothers on newspapers flashed the thing all over the world. Even that doctor, the professor who received me in Munich, there is a town called Munich, had that thing on his telephone. And he showed me, I'm the one, I said, yes. So, those, I want to also thank you, those people, for flashing the things in the world, anyway. Uh, for whatever purpose, of course, I didn't because I checked with them yet. But, they made it known that there's one MP, a general in Uganda, had run amok. And it is made there as a world issue. For, on, for my part, I am happy because even that professor who was waiting to see me had already known about my problem. So that, I think, is the good side of it. Even if those people who flashed that thing with whatever intention, they didn't tell us. Anyway, still, that man, that information prepared him or even to begin looking for the problems before even I arrived. So I want to thank even this newspaper man for, for, for whatever they have done. Secondly, I'm also the speaker. But General, we, General, we don't have much time. 
I know. I wanted you to eh, have some good memory. I, I, I know. But I think I should also tell them what I see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to take you much, sir. Oh, okay, Jenny. I want to thank the government for being in charge of a system. First of all, peaceful. To allow people to sit in the color of all that law. And some people could break on their way. And there is a system that would allow those who broke away could go and be treated. I would say that is very important. If there is no good system as it is now, there's going to be a problem. And of course, you people in Parliament, who is the one who sent me for Tushima, I'm your colleague, and the Parliament who bought my ticket, paid for my treatment, and so on. Because this arrangement is there. Uh, it's a system. And I must be very grateful for that system. Uh, that system is not made for a particular person or people, but it is there. I also want to thank all of you for your prayers. Also, I, I believe also prayer is hard. God hears. And I pray, uh, I am here standing as the speaker to allow me to come and thank you. And uh, through you, those who elected you, meaning now I'm talking to the whole country. <laughs> yes. Therefore, I am here. I'm uh, here and I want to thank again my doctors in, in Germany for looking good to, looking after me. And also thank my doctors here who prepared me to send me to, to Germany. And thank those who elected you are uh, not here but also be prayed for my safe return. And I did it. Uh, um, when I, I, I thought the government indeed the president did that, because he's in charge. Uh, he's in charge of this peace, and uh, peace had a lot of advantages. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I think I should stop here. Thank you, General. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, colleagues, I'm still communicating. So I allowed the General in between my communication because we always feel happy to see General in high spirit. Today he has uh, moved around Parliament, came to my office, the office of uh, uh, the Speaker, and a few colleagues, and he was in high spirits, and he has said, He's still here and he, he's not planning to go anywhere. So, uh, so, General, we keep praying for you. 